what's up everyone thank you for tuning in again on this second video of this channel hopefully you guys enjoyed the first one so in this one's gonna be kind of a quick one I'm just gonna uh, talk about some uh, pistol stuff and try to see if you guys watch that other one and pay attention to the uh, sight muzzle offset portion of it I'm basically just gonna test to see how well that works for pistol uh, I'm about seven paces away from this target and I'm gonna aim at the A zone Okay, seems pretty clear point of aim, point of impact. I'm gonna get a little closer. Watching a lot closer. <laughs> yeah, a little too close to see here. I'm gonna aim just above here. Okay. It seems definitely a lot uh, a lot closer to point of aim, point of impact. I mean even that close, it the barrel probably or sorry the barrel the bullet should have probably nicked the top of this i'm just gonna put the edge of it yeah and it's kind of hilarious too uh this nine millimeter leaves some pretty big holes <laughs> all right so got that clarified uh definitely seems that yeah just the point of aim point of impact which makes sense because the uh, notch and post sights on the pistol is definitely a lot closer to the uh muzzle then in comparison to the AR-15 with about one and a half inch uh, sight muzzle offset on that. Okay, try to take this shot, see how consistent this stays. Okay, not bad. So pretty much if you, if you are one of those players, the guys that utilize the iron sights, then it's pretty much point of aim, point of impact. We'll test it again with the uh, Trijicon RMR set up on here in a second. But first, I want to point out a really cool thing that they did in this game that I was not expecting. So kudos to the makers of this. Um, or whoever thought of putting this as an element in this game. Like, good job. <laughs> so, night vision. So you notice how the handgun, the sights, and my hands are blurry? So that is pretty dang real, too, if you were going to be looking through some night vision. Depending on how you have your night vision dialed in, uh, mostly it's going to, most guys that I've known, they would set them up to where they can be able to, they say set them up to like infinity, which means they would set it up so they would be able to have the ability to see as far out from, there's going to be a certain distance up front to all the way so like for example if you were looking at mountains you'd be able to see those mountains clear as day and it's going to get to a certain extent the closer something gets is going to get as blurry as you can see the pistol in the hands so and that's where you know in reality it comes real you know like uh it comes real handy knowing your gun knowing your gear without you know being able to manipulate it being able to reload it fix it whatever you need to do without having to look at it even you can practice that even without night vision uh, it's just there's a, here's a good prime example of why that's an, those are important skills to have is because yeah it will look like this it, it sucks <laughs> um, and oh well you can just put an IR laser on a pistol like that's very uncommon it has been done back in the day but um, this is where in my opinion and a couple of other people that I know that train professionally uh, especially for uh, low light night vision courses um, if you really want to check out more detail on that check out Green Line Tactical uh, they're open to civilian uh, military police and in fact they are one of the only few schools that I know that actually uh, have the ability to rent out uh, night vision gear for you to try out to know what you're you know what you're getting into what to buy because for those of you that ever had consideration of even looking into night vision the whole night vision game that is not a cheap um, market at all and the cheap stuff you get you will get what you pay for which is just junk and cheap crap <laughs> so yeah this is pretty cool so the one thing I don't like about this and this is a little bit nitpicking on my end is if logic says well obviously it's, it's the pistol the sights and my hands are blurry because it's so close that my goggles aren't you know tuned for me to see that close then why can i see this wall this close but it's still perfectly in focus <laughs> so i'm nitpicking at that point so don't really you know it is what it is i mean if the developers can do something to where they can make that happen awesome if not i won't lose sleep over it just the mere fact that somebody even thought about 
uh, incorporating that element of what you know your rifle or your gun is going to look like under night vision is just th th that surprised the hell out of me. So again, good job on that. So I'm going to go back in there now with the Jujicon RMR uh, electronic dot sight. Uh, I would say red dot, but now there's, you know, most of the newer electronic dot sites out there come in different colors. Uh, you can see some of the ones from Hollow Sun. And some of those colors actually do play a role, and there are different um, aspects to why those colors are different. If you were, were interested, to go look that up. So this is where the red dot on a pistol shines under night vision. And this, for me personally, my opinion as of now, uh, is where a red dot on a pistol would be the most uh, i guess you can say necessary to have if you were to utilize a pistol under night vision uh i don't know what you're doing under night vision with a pistol uh, again i don't know what your job is i don't know what your mission is or your sop is so just keep all that in mind um i definitely if, if i know if i was going to be doing some secret squirrel stuff secret agent stuff under night vision uh, i would want a silenced rifle with uh, ir laser the works uh, ir eliminator so on and so forth anyway so now we're going to test out real quick for we end this video what the sight muzzle offset is on the um pistol equipped with the rmr so let's see here there, a zone okay you see point of a point of impact again up about i don't know five seven paces again Okay, seems pretty spot on. Okay, so here we are pretty damn close. Step back a bit to where I can go ADS. I'm going to aim the dot just above there. Mm, okay, cool. It works. Sight muzzle offset is different with the, with the RMR. Now, I'm just going to focus on that front sight. I'm going to see that the front sight is on paper, but the dot is not. And it still hits paper. Okay, cool. So something something to consider. At distance, is it going to make a difference? Okay, like I said, I'm not that far away. Okay, let's see here. Around target. One, two, three. Give or take three paces. Let's see. Um, let's see here. I'll aim at B. I'll see if it covers the whole dang thing. Okay, it covered the lower portion of the B. So, yeah, sight muzzle offset is a thing at a certain distance of this. So... I guess all in all, if you were this close, I mean, heck, you can even just, you know, hip fire or shoot from retention. Uh, shoot from retention. You guys ever heard of that or seen that? Uh, obviously, I can't, uh, my character can't uh, utilize the elbow, high elbow up to prevent, uh, you know, to protect yourself from being choked out and some whatever other avenues of being that close to a person trying to hurt or kill you. So... Very good. All right, cool. I'm glad we got that cleared up, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.